morning guys good morning today is on monday i can't remember the date it's around um maybe 16th 17th of november somewhere close to that i'm not so sure <laughs> i'm usually not perfect with dates anyway so i wanted to update you guys I want to, it's currently around 8 a.m. in the morning, and I have some errands I need to run in town, but I decided, uh, since I want to do some meat buying from both Bama and City Market, I want to give you tips on how you can buy from those places, because I have experience. I've worked, one, at one of those places, and two, I live near one of them. So, <laughs> it's going to be like two part video so so we're going to start with Bama so I want to go to Bama first right now because there's a reason why we shall explain the video later so I want to go to Bama now then make orders then I go to town then do my errands then city market then yeah so I'll update you guys I don't know if I'll be able to take footages from the markets because I'm usually very sensitive about people's feelings and me filming them it's a bit awkward for me but I'll try but for now, the skin is glowing, the hair is growing. Ah, my hairline is coming back. Yeah, it was a struggle, but it's coming back. So I see you guys. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> So what did I get from Bama? From Bama, I got one kg of matumbo. I won't unravel it because I just want to see it like that. One kg of matumbo at 150. Mm -hmm. Then I got cow liver. One kg of that. Uh, at 400 bob. Then I got minced meat. What happened is, I asked them to cut for me like a kg of meat. And then divide it and mince for me. <clears throat> I'm going to explain to the video why I did that. So for now, I just want to show you the things that I got. So I got minced meat. This was one kg of meat. This one, all right. 1 kg and then I had them means the steak ones and this is the bone part of it so yeah I divided that into two and then I also got um this one was going for sorry baby this one was going for 400 bob uh, I know someone will tell you that is expensive there's a reason as to why and this is this is kidney kidney go, uh, cow kidney I got this for 160 almost a half a kg or something so yes so that's all i got so let me sit down and explain to you reasons as to why or how you can shop from bama and i give you tips on how you can do that welcome back to the empire so here we do everything <laughs> literally we do literally everything that involves life um food shopping um you know home organizing sometimes we do makeup some just family stuff just life whatever life has to offer we just figured since covid just that we cannot uh, settle down into a niche 
So today, as for the title of the video, I want us to talk about how you can not talk about how to give you tips. I want to give you tips on how you can shop your meat supplies from Bama. This is going to be a two-part series, so I'm going to talk about Bama in this first part. Then I'm going to talk about city market in the next part because some people shop from city market and some people shop from Bama. So what is happening is that I have experience in both because I have worked at city market for a long time and and I have shopped uh, at Bama for some time, for a very long time because sometimes I take my supplies from my client for my clients who need meat and get them from Bama or from myself for the household and all that I get meat from Bama. So that's what I want us to talk about today. Uh, first things first, when you want to go for your meat supply, is you would do any other shopping any day, you must have a list. Like, you definitely need to have a list of what you want to buy, right? Um, have a list of what you want to buy, then write it down so that when you get, yeah, you get to the market, you don't get confused and you just know what you want to do. A list is a must, okay? So I have my notes here, so at some point I'll be checking. <laughs> alright, so first things first, have a list, alright? Have a list of what you want to buy, and then go to the market. Now, Bama is located at Jogo Road, around Jogo Road. Um, if you're coming from town, you are light at, just tell them to Shukisha, you are a light, you at City Stadium. Same way if you're coming from east side or the eastern side of Nairobi you just tell them to the eastland at <laughs> eastern eastland tell them to Akshukisha city stadium so they'll just do that what Akshukisha city stadium okay so um when you get to city stadium you fly depending on which side which side you come from if you're coming from eastlands you'll have to cross over using the flyover if you're coming from town then you don't need to cross but you can ask anyone where Bama is it has a lot of entrances a lot but there's a main one which unfortunately you're just going to see it's the one I used to enter so I don't know if it's, it's, it's visible in the footage and then now you go so when you enter there are, there's actually a lot of people calling you madam kuzen kuzie nyama some people are touching you Rule number two, when you're going to Bama, please make sure you're not going somewhere else. You're just going to shop, so make sure you're wearing your shopping clothes. In <laughs> myself, I risk. I risk a lot because most of the time when I'm going there, I'm also going to work. So I make my orders, then I go to work. But sometimes I'm in my overall, my work overall, so I look like them <laughs> with the white overall. Sometimes I'm not. Like today, I wasn't. I was... I was like, a story or another day. but when you're going to Bama make sure you are in clothes that or you're from your businesses you're done so now you're going to you know just buy meat and then just go home that's going to help you but if you're planning to go buy meat and then go for your businesses it's not going to be business as usual it's going to be crazy because you might get out of there smelling like or people might just uh smear blood on you and water and dirty water and all that because in the morning it's usually a hassle so tip number one go very, have a list that is tip number one tip number two go very early in the morning okay especially if you want to buy matumbo or liver okay goat liver not goat liver cow liver if you want to buy kidney liver and matumbo kindly kindly i would urge you Go very early in the morning, around 8, 9-ish, like go before, go before 1, anytime before 1 or anytime before 12, go at that time. Because that time is when fresh stock arrives, okay, most of the time, it's when fresh stock is arriving. So like, people are scrambling to get, people are sorting out their orders, they want to give their regular customers the best quality of products that has just arrived for that day. They also want to, you know, uh... What can I say? Like in the morning, it's usually you get you're guaranteed to get fresh stuff in the morning. Like it's very rare for you to get things that are not fresh when you go there in the morning. Before twelve. Before twelve, okay? You'll be sure, alright? Because before twelve, there's usually a, a lot of businesses. There's usually it's usually very, very busy. Very busy because most hotels are getting their meat from there at that time. 
uh, most restaurants and all that. So we'll go in the morning. Yeah. So if you want to get meat or matumbo, go there very early in the morning. Not meat, liver, matumbo and kidney. Okay, cow kidney. Now, Bama is just a, a market where what is sold basically there is chicken. Chicken is actually sold outside Bama. So at this point, I'm just talking about inside Bama. The chicken is sold around the outside vicinity of Bama. All right. Chicken, that is layers, kenyeji. Broiler, not too much. I only know of two shops that sell broiler at Bama. And that is one I'm going to show you. It's called Chicken Place. That's where I get... Uh, my chicken for my orders my deliveries like if I have clients and they need like the layers of the kenyajis I get them from there he does sell broilers just in case you find yourself in Bama and you don't want to go to city market to buy to buy uh, broilers you can buy from him I only know of him I don't think there's another person who sells broilers I've never bought like live broilers from Bama I don't know if they sell them I don't know I'm not sure but people say they do I don't know but I know of layers in Kenyaji, like the Roadrunners. Layers is one that people call Kenyaji a lot, but it's actually not really Kenyaji. It's like a mixed breed of, I don't know, but they're called egg layers, eggs, eggs layers. I know them as eggs layers, but we sell them as Kenyaji because most, it's harder than Brilla, all right? So outside the vicinity is where the chicken is sold. And then now inside the Bama is where now you buy your meat. So I know the meat part is the tricky part. For chicken, you can just see this is chicken, all right? There's not really much that can give you stress when you're buying chicken. But when you're buying meat, it's quite the opposite, right? So um, go very early in the morning if you want to buy liver, uh, stripes, which is matumbo, or kidney, all right? Those ones are usually sold. Liver, you can never find liver. Once 12 o'clock hits, it's very hard for you to get liver. Like mine, it's very hard unless it is not of good quality. Because in the morning, what people buy is that the first grade qualities which are going to the restaurants. and in, in. So if you go past 12 there, it's very hard for you to get good liver. And even if you do, it's not like the best, best, best liver. You can just, one or two times you can land on good liver. But you can't. I have my client who sells me stripes or matumbo if you're interested i'm going to link she's the same person you've seen cutting so in the morning is usually just crowded like that so i'm going to show you where she how the person is so cutting cutting my matumbo that's the one i buy from her she, but I'll, I'll leave their contacts she sells matumbo right now goes for 150 shillings all right so it used to be 130 but i guess things are just pricey so 100 eh? 50 shillings so you go early in the morning liver is 400 shillings when you go in the morning or any other time but i would advise you to go very early in the morning if you want those i'm insisting go very early in the morning okay number two with bama uh you need to get accustomed to one specific customer like one specific shop where you buy your meat on a regular all right one specific shop you buy your meat on a regular because let me tell you minor let me give you a backstory. Sometime back when uh, my hubby and I were like broke, right? <laughs> we lived in this area for quite some time. So when we were broke, we live around, Bama is just near home. So when we were really, really broke and then you know like you want to eat meat, you're just tired of eating vegetables and everything. And you can only afford meat for like a hundred bob, right? So he would go to Bama and then he comes back home in the evening with meat. I'm like, how many kgs of meat did you say this was again? At the, ah, near so, yo. Yeah, so I think it usually it was almost close to one kg. So I was like, ay, and I'm like, why do you buy this meat for Baba? I'm like, which kind of meat is this? And Yo, it used to be a lot. And then he tells me, <laughs> that guy told me a kilo kilo ni one chwadi. Me nampe so, and he can yama. He nenda kupita a kilo na bara na ongeza. So when he, you ni yama I'm like, where? Well, so we, we ate that meat for a while, for a while. It doesn't taste any different from meat. Like the taste was just meat, like, you know, nyama too. But then one day he came back and then the meat, you know, the way when you buy meat, it's usually like a pinkish color sometimes. And then when you cook it, it turns to brown and all that. So me, I'm busy cooking this meat. Ay, it has boiled, it's not changing color. It's just pink, it's so rare. It's, it's removing a lot of foam, it's foamy. Hey. <laughs> Then I'm convincing myself, 
it will just turn brown as I cook. If I am cooking, I'm like, Kwani, is it Maji Meisha? The meat is not tiny in color. It's still, you know, just um, pink in color. It has a lot of form. I just keep on convincing myself that let me just add spices. Maybe the color will change it. It's never changed. That day, I felt like I was eating cat meat because the way, you know, a cat's mouth is usually big. That meat Loki looked like the cat's mouth, the cat's nose, and I'm like, but I might change color anyway. From then on, we realized that this cheap meat we are buying like a hundred. And you know, more people are going to be like, you know, buying me a kilo of So much. You know, it's a shakar. You know, it's a shakar. I like a kilo. I'm going to go to the store. I saw me kilo. Kilo moja. I don't know what I mean. That reminds me of another tip when you go there, don't buy meat that has already been cut. Like, if you mean your mesha cut already, do not do that because I don't know what I'm going to do. Because one day I asked uh, my client, the one I buy meat from, like, is it your mother who has me hanging or hanging? And then he told me most of the time, most of the time, hizo nyama, zinakuanga kama, let's say they were transporting cows, and then a cow is almost dying, a mite died, and wana zikatakata, and then zimeko watu wapo, kikuja natika ya suri, wana kwekia kwa kilo, so wana kwekia kwa mingi, so I don't know why hii nyama yiku inatana, like brown, it was just pink all through, so in my head I'm like, kia ilo tumukula, paka, then, because there's this notion that Bama or Rosanga also sell meat, like, yeah, it's just, it's crazy when you think about it. So from tell then on, yes? And tell them what you love with meat. Mm. But you know, Nyama, as in end up all you've said, I'm not a Okay, thank you for giving me another point. Yes, my, my hubby is telling me when you go there because yeah, the Nana Kumwa Sana, Sana Sana, most of the time since I had a baby, that if you go there, you ask for, tell them you want a specific part of meat. Atakama ujui, jifanya vile unajua. You can go there, tell them you want maybe, nataka spare ribs, ama nataka geshiri, ama nataka T-bone, you know, like have a specific, specific type of meat that you want. Ama nataka... It's the the one that has very soft bones. No, I'm doing attack. I'm a bone marrow, yes, I'm a bone marrow. Like we see a bone attack and yama. I'm on attack a steak, but most sanasana no one my bones. It's very steak in a wanga a bit tricky, but no one my bones, alright? So yes. That is tip number. I don't know which tip number. Uh, number the next tip is um ukienda avoid buying cheap meat because when you enter there's always people who call you madam kuja then kuzi nyama beipoa kila moja tuwaite that tuwaite is tuwaite is a bit right now tuwaite is not a good price sababu so, right now meat is going for 400 a kg it used to go for 350 but things in a hike so it's 400 all right so I can to eat it and meat right now is 400. Beware. Beware of that meat, sweetheart. It's either, I was telling you that the person I buy meat from, I asked them, why are you guys selling higher than these other people? Because I want to use it and maybe 300, I even know 400. Then he told me, most of the time, Mutapata, these people who are selling is all meat cheap at a cheaper, cheaper price. It's either a cow was dying and they were being transported and then they decided this cow because when it dies it's not of good quality to be eaten then they slaughtered it okay now when it's slaughtered the the, the quality the the price at which a, that cow would have been sold when it's it's healthy is different from the one that was dying so like yeah kituka you so like you know and it's not like good quality of meat so that's why you know when it's cheaper ama nyama ya ndama like Ndama ilizaliwe kakufa, so jatai kutufa, wana ichinja, then wana, wana uza. So tapata yu nyama, it has a very different taste also, the texture is different because kwanza haijakoma. 
so the test is different so the price is cheaper so most of the time avoid buying his in yama unoziwa kama market price ni 350 my friend the lowest you can go ni 320 and maybe 300 but if you are being sold a kilo for less than 350 be very careful and be wary of what you're buying because it's it's really easy for you to be sold something that is not of good quality not rotten but it's it's rare, it's very rare for you to be sold sold rotten meat what i know they can sell you rotten is matumbo matumbo ukienda after 12 sweetheart especially kama kuna like shortage hey utanunua matumbo we za sijui mwaka gani so matumbo that's one i know sana sana inahanga na it's, it's a couple of times we know Matumbo haiko poor and it's, it was just crazy. So, Matumbo, you I know you can get. Like any meat, I've not had an encounter where I've bought bad meat. Yes. Uh huh. Each other tip I wanted to give you. Right now, I don't even know where we are. Yes. The next tip when you go there, never buy. Never buy already minced meat. Like when you go there and then you find like they're selling minced meat like it's already there. Avoid buying already minced meat. And this one goes to any butchery you go. If you're going to buy meat, because I've dealt, I've been in the meat uh, industry for some time, like in the food industry. I just know the things that happen there, so I'm not going to like <laughs> be open about it. But don't buy already minced meat kindly. Hey, you know, no steak won't make cut Like, let them cut it for you, and let them mince for you. Hey, they had only pay you 10 bob or 20 bob for them to go and mince it for you. But what you can do is just find a shop that has a mincer, because Pia Iku ku mince you somewhere else. is a bit tricky because you never know if they change the meat along the way unless you're going to follow them to, like you know, uh, uh follow them to where they're going and then you see where the meat is being minced. But never buy already minced meat. Because number one, what they put there is just waste. All right, waste like this skin, wana you nyama, mafuta. You know, like it's it's usually not the best quality of meats. I'm talking about this from experience. Let nobody come for me. If you, if you are, if you're, you're a person. That's why sometimes you can buy minced meat. No, she na kuboil you are wondering. Kone kora mafuta mob, and then the nyama is kido go. It's because. Most of the time is usually very little quantity of meat in that minced meat and then a lot of fat or a lot of just other things, alright? So do not buy already minced meat. Let them cut it for you and then let them mince it for you when you are watching, alright? So don't do that. Don't buy that. Yes, I already told you that do not buy matumbo after 12, alright? So there's also another trick. Never buy matumbo that is not like grayish or dark in color, like almost going to black. Hmm? Uh, okay, sometimes sometimes it can come you know like nyama yangon because there are two different types of meat. Kuna nyama ya gradi na nyama ya kenyeji. So like gradi, eh? kenyeji I think like ngombe ya gradi and gine ya kenyeji. I'm just handling my nigga here. <laughs> so like do not <laughs> Always, always look forward to getting matumbo in a car grayish and dark in color. That is like the best matumbo, by the way. It's like the sweetest and the best. I think that one is from the ngombe grady, like ngombe ile mikula chumvi kosha go, like this was a masai and everything. You do, you buy like that one is the sweetest. That one I guarantee you is usually the sweetest, and it's very hard for you to find that gray matumbo that is rotten or it is bad because sometimes when you go there in the afternoon they they add like when the matumbo when they've sold out the fresh stock you no know, the ones that remain just a day in those natoliwanga mchana and then uh one a certain powder so that you know just to keep it looking fresh and everything if you can have a nyumba and you start boiling it you just feel hey na hongana fungile very bad but me when i go there i can even smell like I can smell it's not fresh even before I purchase, so do not buy matumbo that is not, you know, that's like blacky, blackish or grayish in color, that green color is the best. This is a hanga white. There are some people even wash their matumbo because in a tan white. Why would you do that, baby? I think you are stripping it off of the taste. Yes. 
you're sweeping it off of the test. Unawasha matumbo mbaka inahani kawe mwagidiwa jik. Why would you do that? <laughs> so kuna matumbo zinyine zina kanga. Si, si, unana, the way matumbo ya mbuzi uka, I don't know if you've seen, matumbo ya mbuzi has a different color compared to matumbo ya mbuzi. Ya mbuzi usually look like, um, it's turning white and it's not turning white. Just a funny color. That's how, that is not, I don't, I don't prefer you buy that one. That one doesn't taste so good compared to the dark grayish one. But sometimes fear the supply is low, so ile tutapata ni your dark, your brown. But you have to be very cautious, like be, be very cautious of what you're buying. In Bama, you have to be very, very cautious. You can even smell, tell them you want to smell. Kwa tu mjinga, unusie, because sometimes... That's why I'm insisting going in the morning because in the morning, kuchezo ni hard. Like, wana kuanga very busy, so like they just want to serve you faster, faster you go. So before they figure out, ah, yeah, I book with one of my tumbo, a jan, a buen, yeah, I'm a tutorial. Like, it's very hard. That's why I'm telling you, go very early in the morning. It's usually a bit tricky for them to like play on your head, but you also you be keen. I don't know about scaling if one says, I'm gonna kill you because. I have just work. I've been buying meat from Bama since I discovered your story. I am so mingy. I just buy nyama from from one specific client. I'm going to show you the stall. If you are interested, I buy from there. I have directed most of my my friends to that place, and I've never had complaints. And I have I bought meat from my client from there. I've never had complaints. And their kilo is usually very accurate. So I don't know about any other place. So I'll leave you the stall is if you, just in case you're interested, okay? If you're interested, the stall is 293. So if or even leave the numbers, you can call them and make your orders from there. But yeah, they sell it at 400. But basically, those are like all the tips. And also have one specific customer, like somebody you can go to on a daily. And then when you get regular, you can always call them and then tell them to source for you matumbos. Or you can even, when you go and buy, ask them where can they get the best matumbo. They will tell you and the best liver. If you said, can I buy from there? I'll tell you. Like, my customer always tells me, like, if I go there later and I tell my own matumbo, they'll just tell me, mm-mm. Leo, you must have good time. Leo, your matumbo are fun. Leo, matumbo, why so cool? Naziona, but when you get accustomed to them, they will always give you advice. So yeah, that's just basically the tip that I wanted to share with you guys on how you can buy, and they will help you. By the way, yeah, they will really help you when it comes to chicken. Um, chicken, I don't think there is really much because chicken gama si po ino ne kananga too. Like chicken too, the skin is always sagging. Come on, Jana. It will always have a sagging skin. It just looks funny, all right. But when it's fresh, it's always tough skin. It just looks fresh, especially the layers. There's a way they look when they are really, really fresh. I can be able to differentiate. I don't know how I can help you with that. But with chicken, it's really easy for you to identify. Or they are greenish somewhere. With chicken, it, chicken rot, rots very, very fast. Especially if they are exposed to air, they tend to go bad very, very, very fast. Or when they stay in a heated place, they tend to go. They tend to go bad very fast so yeah uh, if you want eggs i'll show you the place where you can get eggs and your layers and broilers and things if you're in Bama. so that's it the chickens that are usually in the cages i'm not really accustomed myself with them but i saw somebody bought them at 300 shillings i don't know how true that is i wanted to go and experiment but i ran out of funds so i didn't buy chicken from Bama today so one day when i do that i'll also give you a video on that but the other things kindly take consideration consider all the tips that i've given you they will help you a lot avoid these people who keep on touching touching you madam kuja madam kuja you can even just walk around and just see the kind of meat that pleases your eyes and then now you decide okay but do not all other things that i've given you if you've not if you don't have a customer or if you've not been to Obama before but if you don't have a customer kindly check this is not a sponsored video by anyone, but you can go to my customer's place. At least them, they will tell you, ah, today, you know, when you get accustomed to them and there's a specific meat you eat, when you go there, they'll just tell you, like, if you're not, if you're your regular clients, yes, you're seeing meat, but they'll tell you, things like that, yes. But if you're not there, you're not a cat yet. <laughs> So those are the tips that I wanted to share so for, from Bama. So be sure to check out the other video that I'm going to post after this that involves how you can buy meat. I don't know which one will go first, but either. Just check all of them. The other tips are for city markets. So I'll see you guys in the next one.